So students now in this video let us see examples on solution of congruence. So let's take the example how many solutions are there to each of the following congruences so first one is 15x congruence to 25 modulo 35 so let's see solution here now given equation given congruence equation given congruence equation is 15x congruence to 25 modulo 35 <coughs> now we will compare it with comparing with ax congruence to b modulo m we get a equal to 15 b equal to 25 and m equal to 35 now we have seen a theorem yesterday in the previous video so here find out a gcd between a and m what is gcd between a and m that is gcd between 15 and 35 so you know 35 is equal to <coughs> 15 into 2 plus 5. So, 15 equal to 5 into 3 plus 0. Using Euclidean algorithm, we get here the GCD is how much? 5. This 5 is the GCD of this in between A and M. Now, GCD is 5 and this 5 divides 25 that is this D divides B therefore by the theorem we can say this congruence equation 15x congruence to 25 modulo 35 has 5 solutions yesterday we have seen the theorem in that one we saw a linear congruence ax congruence to b modulo m is there and if a gcd between a and m is d d divides b then there are d solutions to that linear congruence equation fine same thing is here this 5 divides 25 that's why this congruence equation has 5 solutions now let's see the second example the second example, suppose the congruence equation is 15x congruence to 24 modulo 35. So, solution of this, given congruence equation, given congruence equation, 15x congruence to 24 modulo 35 again compare with comparing with ax congruence to b modulo m we get a is equal to 15 b equal to 24 and m equal to 35. Now here again GCD between A and M that is GCD between 15 and 35 same numbers are they so it will be 5 just like previous one and this 5 doesn't divide whom 24 that is B therefore this 15x congruence to 24 modulo 35 this linear congruence equation has 
no solution has no solution now let's take one more of the same kind how many solutions are there to the congruence equation the third example is that 15x congruence to 0 modulo 35 now again given congruence equation is it will be 15x congruence to 0 modulo 35 Comparing with comparing with AX congruence to B modulo M, we get A equal to fifteen, B equal to zero, and M equal to thirty five. Again. GCD between A and M is 5. Yeah. And this 5 divides 0 that is B. So this gives this 15x congruence to 0 modulo 35 has 5 solutions as for you solutions okay. now let's take the next example find all solutions of the following of the following linear congruences so first one 20x congruence to 4 modulo 30 solution given congruence equation is Twenty x congruence to four modulo thirty. Comparing with comparing with a x congruence to b modulo m, we get. A equal to 20, B equal to 4 and M equal to 30. Here, GCD between A and M is GCD between 20 and 30 is 10. And 10 doesn't divide 4. Therefore, this congruence equation 20x congruence to 4 modulo m that is modulo 30 has no solution has no solution it, question is that find all solutions but it don't have a solution so no need to go further now second example the second linear congruence suppose 20x congruence to 30 modulo 4 30 modulo 4 so solution given congruence equation is Twenty x congruence to thirty modulo four. Comparing with
ए एक्स कॉन्ग्रोन्स टू बी मॉड्यूलो एम वी गेट ए इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी बी इक्वल टू थर्टी एम इक्वल टू फोर हियर जी सी डी बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड ए एंड एम दैट इज जी सी डी बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड फोर इज फोर एंड फोर doesn't divide थर्टी देर फोर ट्वेंटी एक्स कॉन्ग्रोन्स टू थर्टी मॉड्यूलो फोर हैज नो सोल्यूशन हैज नो सोल्यूशन नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन थर्ड कॉन्ग्रोन्स लेट्स टेक third we will suppose 18x congruence to 30 modulo 42 so solution given congruence equation is 18x congruence to 30 modulo 42 comparing with a x congruence to b modulo m we get a equal to 18 b equal to 13 and m equal to 42 now here gcd between a and m is gcd between 18 and 42 that is equal to 6 as 42 is equal to 18 into 2 plus 6 And eighteen equal to six into three plus g. Okay. Now, this side will be six, and six divides thirty. Therefore, eighteen x congruent to thirty modulo forty two has six. solutions has six solutions now 18x congruence to 30 modulo 42 is equivalent to is equivalent to 6 into 3x congruence to 6 into 5 मॉड्यूलो फोर्टी टू अपॉन जी सी डी बिटवीन एटीन एंड फोर्टी टू दिस वन सो दिस गिवज अस दिस इज थ्री एक्स कॉन्ग्रोन्स टू फाइव मॉड्यूलो फोर्टी टू अपॉन सिक्स सो दिस गिवज थ्री एक्स कॉन्ग्रोन्स टू फाइव मॉड्यूलो सेवन नाउ नोट दैट दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ सोल्यूशन ऑफ एटीन एक्स कॉन्ग्रोन्स टू थर्टी मॉड्यूलो फोर्टी टू इज ऑल्सो a solution of is also a solution of 3x congruence to pi u modulo 7 here x0 is equal to 4 is a solution of 
is a solution of 3x congruence to 5u modulo 7. If we put x equal to 4 here, it will give us 12. 12 congruence to 5u modulo 7. So that x, x equal to 4 will satisfy this. That's why I am taking x0 is equal to 4 is a solution of this linear congruence. Fine. Therefore, x0 equal to 4 is a solution of is a solution of this 18x congruence to 30 modulo 42 also. Therefore, other solutions using theorem we can determine other solutions. The other solutions are x equal to x naught plus m upon d times k where k is an integer. Therefore, x equal to x equal to x naught is 4 plus m upon d means 42 upon gcd between 18 and 42 that will be 7. So, 7 times k where k is an integer. Fine. Therefore, that gives x equal to 4, 11, 18, 25, 32, 39 are the solutions of solutions of what 18x congruence to 30 modulo 42 that is x equal x congruence to 4 11 18 25 32 39 modulo 42 as such the six solutions to this linear congruence we can determine let's take the next one of the same kind so the next linear congruence is suppose 57x congruence to 87 modulo 105. Now, solution given congruence equation is 57x congruence to 87 modulo 105. Comparing with comparing with ax congruence to b modulo m we get a equal to 57 b equal to 87 and m equal to 105 here gcd between a and m that is GCD between 57 and 105 is, let's find it, 105 is equal to 57 into 1 plus 48. 57 is equal to 48 into 1 plus 9. 48 is equal to 9 into 5 plus 3. And 9 equal to 3 into 3 plus 0. So, from this Euclidean algorithm, we get GCD is how much? 3. And this 3 divides 87. Therefore, what can we say? This 57x congruence to 87 modulo 105 has Three solutions has three solutions. Now fifty seven x congruence to eighty seven modulo one hundred five 
is equivalent to is equivalent to three into nineteen x congruence to three into twenty nine modulo one hundred five upon GCD between fifty seven and one hundred five. Okay, so this is equivalent to nineteen x congruence to twenty nine modulo modulo one hundred five upon three. That is nineteen x congruence to twenty nine modulo. Thirty-five. Okay. Now, the solutions of the solutions of nineteen x congruence to twenty-nine modulo thirty-five is also a solution of solution of fifty seven x congruence to eighty seven modulo one hundred five. Here x not equal to now x not equal to minus four is the solution of solution of 19x congruence to 29 modulo 35 can check it 19 into minus 4 will be minus 76 minus 76 congruence to 29 modulo 35 minus 76 plus 29 Will be one hundred five and one hundred five is divisible by thirty five. Fine. Now, therefore, the other solutions are other solutions are x equal to x not plus m upon d times k, where k is an integer. Therefore. X equal to minus four plus m by d means this thirty five. So thirty five times k, where k is an integer, are the solutions. Therefore, x equal to thirty one, thirty nine, seventy four are the solutions of. Solutions of put the values of k here. K is equal to one, then we get thirty one. K is equal to two, we'll get this as such. Fine. Modulo thirty five we have to modulo one hundred five we have to obtain. Fine. So are the solutions of nineteen x congruence to twenty nine modulo thirty five, or or we can say. Fifty seven x congruence to eighty seven modulo one hundred five. As such, we can find the number of solutions and also the solutions of linear congruences. So here we will stop. In next video, we will see the Chinese remainder theorem to solve a system of linear congruences. Now here we have solved only a single linear congruence. and its solution but in that time we will solve a system of linear congruence means more than one linear congruences are given to us there and we will find a single simultaneous solution to that system it will be that system can be solvable using a chinese remainder theorem so first of all in next video we will see the statement and the proof of the theorem and also examples on that thank you